Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to another interesting session of from Archive. Uh, we've brought to you Eco Deco today. Eco Deco is eco friendly deco, a solution out of plastic waste for eco conscious homes, decor, and utility elements. Uh, we will definitely dive into deep dive into this topic and uh, get some interesting facts for you. But before that, like always, uh, it's our duty to tell you a little about Archive. So uh, we are a platform where you guys can explore materials, connect with professionals, discover opportunities, procure building materials. Uh, like today, we previously have done a lot of design talks and material master series where we bring in architects, designers, we bring in vendors, we bring in experts to talk to you and explain their uh, product or their theory to you. Previously, we have done events like uh, agrocrete, interior estimation, earth blocks, and many more uh, such topics we have covered. And all of that, you guys can uh, have the videos on our YouTube. So do follow us on YouTube and you'll get all the recordings of, the, of our previous events. Moving on to today's session. Uh, moving on to today's session, uh, please welcome Sonal Shukla. She's the co-founder of Eco Deco. Uh, the Recycle Company. A very warm welcome, Sonal. It's great to have you today with us. A little about Sonal, the most interesting fact that she is not an architect, she's not a designer, but she has a background in engineering and communication. I know you all probably are wondering what is a what is an engineering engineering student or an engineer doing with us today, but that's what the story is about. So she's turned into an entrepreneur and she started this Eco Deco along with her uh, partner, Vaibha. And uh, it's been two years that she started this. She started this in 2020 and she's brought some interesting facts for us. Uh, something to do with plastic. Uh, I think today plastic is like a major uh, waste issue for all of us and she has a better solution for us. So let's see what Sonal has for us. Moving on to uh, what you guys can expect today. Yeah. Is Firstly, we'll move to the journey of uh, Sonal and probably Eco Deco also, that how they've reached, uh, what they've done in these two years, products that they've brought for us, facts regarding plastic waste, the whole process of converting this plastic into some usable decor, uh, composition of these products, products and uh, advantages, remedies to reduce plastic waste and at the end of, end of the session we will have asked the expert where we let in uh, you guys ask your questions uh, directly to the expert so be there for the event i hope you guys enjoy the event over to you sonal sonal uh, am i audible Hello, am I audible? Yes, yes, you are Sonal. Okay, okay. I'm so sorry for, uh, I think there is some issue with my network. Every time we have some kind of, you know, uh, event or uh, presentation, only then, then only these uh, networks. No issue, no issue. issue. It's, it's completely yeah, so, okay. Uh, I was listening to you. Thank you so much for such a kind in, uh, introduction. So, yeah, uh, sh uh, should I begin? Yes, yes, you can totally. Okay, okay. Hi everybody, as uh, like uh, somebody have already told about me, a uh, very good introduction about me. Like I've turned, you know, from electronics engineer to entrepreneur, so thank you so much for that. So I'll be beginning uh, with giving a very brief about what uh, we are as a company. So we are a startup, social impact startup working into this sustainability domain. What we do is basically trying to provide, a, you know, this, uh, I mean, the solution to deal with this particular menace that we have created so far with plastic, uh, you know, uh, all around. So um, not just a solution, but also a sustainable solution, I would say, like uh, we are providing a circular and sustainable solution, but uh, 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 I mean, making use of the waste and also making it recyclable so we can make it into the loop and keeping it in the chain, uh, you know, for longer time or duration. Uh, what we basically do is uh, make the post into some innovative and functional products. We'll see like what kind of product we have um, uh, in our portfolio. And uh, we also provide waste pickup service in Delhi and CR. So that's how we, uh, you know, that is the brief that what we do. So, so we'll get to know more about it, like what's the process and all those things. So, um, I mean, as far as the product range is concerned, so we, uh, we have uh, two to three different categories of products. We are making products in home decor category, gifting, and also, you know, public utility range we have that are all 
made from plastic waste. So uh, I would say our first product is this uh, board that we make in house. Like these boards are like uh, similar to wooden panel or say ply board that we make out of the waste plastic. Now uh, to keep this presentation very interactive and fun, um, I would like to ask one question to you all that. Uh, um, like if i ask you like how many products can you see or around, i mean around you like uh, wherever you are sitting be it table or bed or, or something you are in the room or in traveling or whatever you can find you know on an average uh, at least five to six products around you like i can if, if i have to see uh, around me i can find charger pen and you know all the these stuff that are made from plastic now, plastic is not the problem, but what the problem is basically the consumption and the you know, problem with the dispose. Um, uh, hello? Yes, Sonal, yes. Uh, is my voice breaking? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, your voice is breaking. Probably you can go a little slow. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. And let me know when you need to change the slide, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You can, you can go on to the next slide. Okay. So that was the, uh, like, um, I, I wanted to do this activity, keep it interactive uh, session. So I was asking, like, if, if I ask you all, like, how many products you can see around you, like plastic products, I don't know if you missed this part. So just if you can, uh, you know, type it down on the chat or, um, you know, just, just have a look around you, you will at least find five to six products. I am um, sure about it, like, uh, you know, charger or pen or whatever. So probably you are asking yeah. everyone to just check around if uh, in the same room that you guys are sitting. Yeah. Randomly count how many plastic products you have and probably you can. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, guys, please do that. This, this would be a little interesting for us. So just write down in the chat if you see any plastic products in your room. So I can see pouch, pen, lens case, charger, baby toy. I found a lot. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, uh, on day to day basis, we we make use of these plastic products uh, a lot, right? Matlab, um, if we go on to counting, so every uh, I would say every minute, maybe we will be using uh, uh, some kind of uh, thing like our phone. Maybe a little charger. Uh, I mean, the backup case that that is uh, also plastic most of the time. So these are the products that we use uh, on day to day basis, but we do not think of the dispose, you know, how we can dispose them responsibly. So I, I, again, you can see in this uh, picture in the slide, like um, if I ask what, what is the difference that you can see in these two pictures, apart from the EU that comes to your mind. Right. So everybody has a lot, you know, around plastic products. I can see so many. So uh, can we go to the next slide? Right. So the difference is this can be recycled, but this cannot. You know, the problem is not the plastic, but the consumption or the dispose system that we have uh, currently. That's basically the problem. If we take care of our product at the source level, which we generate karte on a day-to-day -day basis, if we uh, dispose them responsibly, then that those products can be recycled. And uh, like the company or uh, the startups like uh, like us who are making use of this particular waste, but there are huge chances like that um, landfill will go to So we can, can we go to the next slide? So you can see the fact that this many, I mean, this much of waste uh, daily basis for 25,000 tons of plastic waste is going to the landfill. And uh, how this can be avoided is of course by you know taking care of the consumption, the source segregation, and also the process that I'm going to tell about the recycling and all those stuff. So this is about RRR, uh, not the one that we recently saw, but about uh, reusing, reducing, and the recycling. So uh, I would now begin with the process of how we, you know, follow and how we recycle and all those stuff. So this is the process that we follow. We first collect the waste plastic, then convert it into tiny flakes or say, you know, um, tiny, um, uh, 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 what do I say, uh, parts, we convert it, shred it, then we compress and make the boats. That is our first product. So 
um the board that we are making is very similar to the wooden panels or plywood that you see um usi se similar hote hain in thicknesses and in you know workability and then we convert it into this uh, this type of product so this process looks very simple but at the back end there is a lot that we have to do and a lot of efforts that it takes right from the collection part to the creation part so if i talk talk about the product um can we to go to the next slide yeah so we have as i already told we have different types of categories uh in the product range so we have like the decor products and also the gifting products and uh, uh, can we go to the next uh, i mean we can uh, have the product yeah so this can this can be a very good option in terms of when if you talk about the gifting so these days people are very conscious in terms of using and also you know gifting eco conscious gifting is a very um a very uh, what do i say very in trend these days not just because of the trend but also because the impact that these products create when you know um uh, look around so these are some public utility products that's been chairs and all, all these artworks and um, also we have some functional products so these bookshelves and these laptops are very handy when you you know work uh, work from home or also from office so these are very useful in that case now these products can be made from different materials yes but what what is the usp of our product is the impact that they are creating and also the amount of plastic that we are saving when you know replace when we replace the amount of uh, plastic but matlab jo perishable plastic ka product hai for planters of course agar hum wo replace karte hain with this type of product so there is a huge impact for factor that is associated now these are the product range that we have in house um but um as i can see most of you are from the you know interior designing background or architectural background so i can assume that you can make use of these boards very well like if if i tell you about the you know facts about these boards so these are very um, have their uniqueness in terms of looks or the qualities or you know this can be a very good building material as well so that is all about the product now we'll okay. go into the advantages um uh, yes before that uh, sonal we have a question so mm -hmm. why particularly plastic what inspired you to select plastic as a material for product making okay so um that that's really a very interesting question actually um so uh, I, uh, i mean i haven't given background about, about the uh, founding team uh, behind the eco deco so i am from the electronics background that you know but uh, Vabab, who is the co-founder, he is from the environmental engineering background. So we both did our masters from NIT Kurukshetra. Now, uh, Vabab, since he was studying waste management and environmental engineering, he had this knowledge about this, जो पूरा waste management का chain होता है about that. So he had this idea to make something out of waste. And then this pandemic happened, and eventually we found that uh, during the pandemic, now when we were into lockdown, so there was a huge uh, increase in the packaging waste that we were creating and when lockdown khatam hua after that people were very conscious and when they were going out so humne jo disposable hote hai cutlery hote hai jo us tarike ki cheeze hoti hai uska waste bahut zyada generate kiya be it ppe kit be it mask or whatever so then we thought ki um waste se kuch interesting to banane ka idea hai but at this point of time we have to go with plastic as a material because this is the need of the art right so th that is how we began with eco deco um with plastic recycling okay great to know sonal we'll move on yeah. to yeah so um, as i was talking about the product so uh, this is the composition uh, i mean all the all our products are made from 100% post consumer plastic waste so these this this uh, plastic waste is particularly from uh, households and also from um uh, i mean uh, you know restaurants and all kinds of uh, you know these waste generation in the chain uh, waste generation um, spots in the chain and uh, uh, while the process when we make our boards we do not use any kind of additive or chemicals just to keep it pure plastic so that we can recycle it again so once uh, there is some kind of mixing is done in the process so we cannot recycle it so we are trying to keep it circular by making it recyclable as well so that is the usp of our board or safe product and um, once you manufacture these eco boards and those processing is very much similar to the wooden boards so jaise hum wooden board ke sath mein kaam karte hain the cutting and all those stress cnc cutting and all those things you can do with these boards as well you can cut them and make uh, use of these using scale um, uh, screws and all 
so that is how we are uh, doing the processing and each board uh, recycles from 10 to 30 kg depending upon the thickness what we are making or what we are using in the product so impact part goes in that way ki ek product mein kitna kg se bhi sakta hai so that is how the composition is about and um, also uh, if you talk about the colors and you know variation of the product so you might have seen different type of um, uh, uh, patterns in our products uh, in earlier slide so most of our products look very similar to the marble so the, that, that is how we try to position it very well because this looks as a marble so it has very you know um, very uh, what do i say uh, there are no limitation to use this as a material like you can make use of it uh, say as a wall tiling or uh, for the partitions for the doors or windows i mean you you can think of it of multiple um, applications once you get uh, to understand about the material so that is how we are trying to do trying to replace virgin plastic as well as wood wood wooden products as well because um, we list to say wood ke sath bhi apna ek impact juda hua hota hai deforestation and all those things so that is how we are trying to create a bigger uh, big and big impact and um, can we go to the next slide so these are the products as you have already seen like there is a variety of products uh, the look and all those stuff and uh, the advantages why um, uh, can we uh, go to the next and next So these are the outdoor utility products. So these particularly are very, you know, not just the amount of plastic that they are recycling. Uh, like each bench or each dustbin is made with, you know, around five to ten kgs of plastic uh, waste. I mean, when basically kgs that we are saving from going into the land. So that is how the impact that we are creating. And apart from the impact factor, uh, uh, can we please go to the next slide? yeah so apart from the impact factor uh, if we look at the right side of the uh, you know uh, slide the looks and the uh, qualities that are attached with these boards or say products is very much interesting to work on this like these boards are waterproof so these are very good for you know some kind of projects that you want to do for washrooms or you know nearby the wash basin area or some some kinds of application like that when wherever there is a termite key problem where we can make use of these boards for um i mean cupboards or something like that so limitations on products uh nahi uh, hai we can think of so many things uh, you know when to make use of these boards um uh, as an application but yes we need uh, people who want to create an impact along with the you know the design factor so that is how the advantages and uh, product range is basically uh, can we go to next slide yeah okay uh, one more question popping out is what are the other alternatives uh, for your product like if not plastic waste what is the other waste mm -hmm. uh, product that you use okay so uh, i mean as i told about the initial idea was to make use of waste into some kind of innovative and functional product so we started out with plastic because at that time we thought ki plastic is the main problem even in plastic i don't know uh, since you all are from the designing or you know architecture background so uh, i don't know if you know about this or not even in plastic there are multiple types so um, next time when you use a plastic product so try to look at the bottom you will find a plastic type there so from 1 to 7 there are multiple types of plastic so currently we are making use of 3 to 4 uh, types of plastic not in the number i mean saying i'm 3 to 4 types of plastic uh, but we want to make use of more, we want to incorporate more and more plastic type first and then we want to go into more types of waste say paper waste or construction waste or stuff like that so we do um, i mean we do envision to make use of waste in general but if i have to uh, say ki alternate kya hai for this particular type of uh, product that we have the board so usme we can't make recycle matlab waste paper se okay. we can't make that type of uh, you know product okay, so, so that uh, is how the positioning is so do you do you test the plastic before you like are there some tests you guys carry out so test is pretty much on the visual basis so you can find the plastic types in the pl product itself and once you start uh, you know working with the plastic uh, in general so you get to understand ki usme um, like what type of waste uh, i mean plastic it is like these two bottle hote hain jo uh, water bottle hote hain like bisleri okay. aur ye jo sare hote hain so you will find ki jo bottle ka niche wala jisme pani hota hai that part is a different kind of plastic or for the cap that is different 
और उसके फिर रिसाइकलिंग प्रोसेस भी फिर अलग अलग होते हैं तो वी हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ दो टाइप ऑफ यू नो कंस्ट्रक्शन की वी हैव टू सेग्रीगेट वंस मटीरियल मटीरियलिकेट बेस्ड ऑन प्लास्टिक टाइप Okay. so that is how we uh, we do the process we segregate and then we convert it into the flakes and then into the board and then into the product so that is how the process like i mean uh, that is why i said ki wo jo process hai that looks very simple but that end mein bahut sara uh, like um uh, correct wo hote hain process hote hain so yeah okay okay moving on so no yeah so yeah uh, i think i talked uh, pretty much about you know recycling and our products process and all those things so uh, when i was you know looking ki what uh, what type of uh, take away you can take from this particular webinar so apart from the material learning and from the process about plastic recycling this is what i can say you can take from me personally because i am the one who uh, who is trying to live this uh, you know zero waste sustainable living um, uh, trying to incorporate into and trying to give this type of uh, you know learning to people who are around me so you can uh at least start reducing and reusing as much as possible and uh, start recycling uh if you are within delhi and you can connect to us you can give your plastic waste to us we will recycle it into some you know uh, definitely innovative product and uh, uh, uh yeah uh, please follow these habits try to carry your bottle and uh, bag and all the stuff and yeah uh, the future of eco requires for us uh, this is concern so uh, as i already told you we started with plastic waste but we envision to becoming a one stop solution for all types of waste so down the line we want to move into different types of waste as well like construction and all that that are in uh, our mind ki hame usse aage ja ke we have to make use of um, you know some different type type of products from that as well but we have started with plastic and uh, we will be in plastic uh, for some quite some time and um, like i i like the, this particularly like it is not about you know like this sustainable very perfectly but we need millions of us to doing it in perfectly so that is how uh, that is what plastic based agar hum we need more and more people to think about it to think about living eco consciously giving consciously and also since you are all the designers i would like to um, you know uh, see ki how much how many of you would be interested to you know uh design some products out of this particular material so uh, if anybody of you is interested in learning more about this uh, particular you know material and if you want a sample or something so you can get in touch with us uh, through samriddhi and uh, yes, yes. we can uh, send a sample to you for sure you can you know have the feel of the material and uh, you can think of the applications because uh, there are so many applications of this particular material yes uh definitely sonal yes uh now guys we are up for your questions we already have uh, some questions uh, from the registered participants before that uh, let me give you a, like a run through archive app which i'm probably expecting by now you all would have downloaded so we request you to download the app and explore it we are uh, all about materials uh, this is how our uh, app would look like when you download so you can uh, place your quotes with us uh, some interesting products like eco deco right we are trying to bring in such uh, eco friendly and interesting products also on the app where you can directly buy uh, products from us place your quantities and we will give you uh, direct reach to number of vendors and you can have a word with them apart from this you will get some information also about these products uh, about their testing about their uh, process all of that so try your hands on our uh, archive app so please download it by now uh, yeah guys you are you, you are open for questions like you can put in your questions in the chat till you type i am already taking the questions from the people who have registered and uh, these are the contact details which you guys can note down by the time i take questions to reach out to both sonal and uh, to archive for uh, such kind of uh, products so uh, sonal we already have some questions i will uh, yes yes i can see yeah one uh, question was uh, okay these are questions from before the presentation right so these guys are not very clear with what the presentation was about so let's take up the questions and please see if you can uh, you know give them some brief on it how to use yeah. plastic bottles in construction so since you are using plastic made materials people are mm -hmm. if we have to use direct plastic bottles how can we do it uh there is one concept called eco brick that is uh, that was very much in trend some time back like people were what you, uh, what people were doing 
वॉस्की जो भी हमारे रैपर्स बिस्किट यू नो नमकीन एंड ऑल दोज रैपर्स दे वर ट्राइंग टू पुट इन साइड दी बॉटल्स एंड ट्राइंग टू मेक अको ब्रिक आउट दैट एंड वर यूजिंग इट फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्शन पर्पज बट एस Uh, like if i have to tell from my knowledge like this particular thing is good if the application is for you know 10 to 15 years but if you are just going to make use of that brick to just you know um, for the decoration purpose then this is of no use because uh, after 6 to 7 months wo agar tutega then you can't take out those wrappers out of the plastic bottles and you can't even recycle the bottle which usually gets recycled so that's the problem of the concept like we have to understand using it um, you know without a proper process so there is a process to recycle bottle there is a process to recycle the bottle caps and there is a process to recycle the wrappers that we put inside but when you mix it that becomes a problem so you can make use of that uh, i mean the bottle but uh, i would not recommend that okay that was a great insight uh taking up a next question on the eco deco product uh what is the process of cleaning and maintaining eco deco product uh pretty uh, i mean that's very simple like uh, these products are waterproof so you can wash it off also you can just uh, you know use the damp cloth to uh, clean the dirt or uh, stuff depending upon ki what kind of product you are uh, using uh, you can uh, i mean uh, इसको आप कैसे भी क्लीन कर सकते हैं लाइक दैट इज वेरी मच इजी एंड आल्सो सिर्फ दीज आर रिसाइक्लेबल सो से आफ्टर यू नो सम टाइम यू गेट बोर्ड ऑफ दैट सो यू कैन कांटेक्ट अस एंड से कि अभी मेरे को ये वापस करना है या आप इसको रिसाइकल कर लो सो वी कैन टेक दैट इन दैट थिंग इन टू कंसीडरेशन एज वेल दैट इज प्रीटी इंटरेस्टिंग बट ड्यूरेबिलिटी वाज वन क्वेश्चन सोनल सो व्हाट अबाउट ड्यूरेबिलिटी लाइक यू सेड दैट यस रीयूज हो सकता है बट how long can a product last or is it is there any any end to it so i would say ki it depends on the product to product but since okay. this material is very strong and uh, depending upon ki hum kya application ke liye isko use kar rahe we can go from 6 to 20 mm ka thickness so as the thickness increases the durability and the strength of the material or the product increases so humne jaise jo hamari benches hai like these benches are made from our boards only these are phase in public places and public place pe koi product use ho raha hai that is very rough in you right and um, we say ki uh, that product is not um, i mean that is very durable in terms of uh, because we know the strength and all those things because we have done some testing on that uh, strength test and all those uh, things but also uh, since we are very a young startup so people gets this question very much ki yaar ye products to zyada purane nahi hai to inka kis tarike se kaise kya hoga but we have been using it even before that matlab humne jab start kiya usse pehle products ko hum use mein leke aa rahe hain so these are very durable and very have very much uh, good strength and also outdoors ke liye these are not fading in colors and all those stuff like up planters agar outdoors mein use karo balcony mein so colors and all are not going to fade away so that is how um, i mean this thing okay. is Okay, uh, we'll take up some uh, questions from the chat. So, mm -hmm. Vanshika has a question. What is the initial cost required to start this kind of work? Can you? Uh, initial cost to set up the workplace. Um, not exactly sure, but probably I would like to maybe ask a question on this. That uh, can you uh, like for your products? Uh, the, we have mm -hmm. not range price range. Can you throw some light on that? Yeah, so uh, I mean, our uh, जो हमारे decor uh, the, these decor and gifting products range starts from say hundred twenty and go up to uh, like um, uh, fifteen hundred two thousand also. And if it is a customized product, say कोई shelf या furniture का stuff है, that customization part goes in differently. But in general, costs are starting around one fifty to one uh, uh, one twenty to one fifty range. Okay. And uh, for the outdoor and all those stuff. सिंस वहां पे ज्यादा मटेरियल यूज होता है एंड ऑल दो स्टफ सो उनके प्राइसिंग थोड़े अपर साइड होते हैं बट दैट इज इन कंपैरिजन विद द प्रोडक्ट दैट यू फाइंड इन द मार्केट लाइक आप एक डस्टबिन का सेट अगर आप मार्केट में लेने जाओगे एंड इफ यू कंसीड कंपेयर इट विद आर प्रोडक्ट्स दैट इज वेरी सिमिलर लाइक प्राइसिंग वी हैव केप्ट वेरी कंपैरेबल टू द जनरल प्रोडक्ट बिकॉज़ वी वांट पीपल टू यू नो फोकस ऑन द इंपैक्ट पार्ट एंड नॉट ऑन द यू नो प्राइसिंग वाला पार्ट सो दैट इज हाउ वी आर ट्राइंग टू प्राइस द प्रोडक्ट correct and you guys can reach out to her also for uh, proper pricing and anything else you need uh, let's have yeah. the next question um, albert has a question he's asking embedded energy of your product what is the embedded energy of your product 
uh, embedded energy as in uh, sorry i couldn't uh, understand the question i mean uh, like um, uh, albert would you want to unmute and ask your question albert am i audible to you okay uh, i think we'll wait for him are we are we discussing about the like uh, the process kem kitna energy use kare or some kind of that stuff uh, uh i mean the carbon footprint if you are considering like in probably yes, the yes 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 yeah i, yeah, I can yes. understand that uh, from the question ki uh, jo hamara virgin plastic ka jo product hota hai na usko banane mein and if you com compare it with our product so 88% less energy consumption use hota hai when we make uh, a recycled product as compared to uh, virgin plastic this this uh, particular thing is in general for every type of recycle and virgin ka comparison not just us but uh, since virgin plastic mein kya hota hai you use initially very much very large you know um, energy amount to make uh, first the raw material and then product us bahut sare process hote hain but when we are dealing with the recycle uh, material so uh, we just have to go through the um, uh, processing and making part so wahan se hum jo initial jo raw material create karne wala jo energy consumption hai wo bahut zyada reduce ho jata hai okay uh moving on to the next question by darshan as you said recycling of plastic does it include burning or melting of plastic if yes uh, means does that is that done in presence of oxygen or without oxygen so he is asking uh, the plastic yeah. burned or melted no 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 we do not burn or melt the plastic so our process like we have made our own machines in house and we are making uh, i mean doing it such a way that we are not melting or burning we are just going to the semi melting uh, state so usse kya hota hai kuch bhi fumes ya is tarike ki cheeze usme environment mein infuse nahi hoti hain so that is how we are trying to you know uh, trying to lower the footprint as a process or as a company or sell like hamara company ka jo carbon footprint hai that is uh, lower because we are not making use of you know um, i mean not burning or stuff you are not doing that so that is going up till uh, like semi molten state only okay i hope that answers your question that next question from ketki uh, what is the melting point of this product because there is lot of heat increasing in outside environment how will the outdoor furniture survive this uh melting point of this product i mean uh, while we basically using, i think right? again durability hi ki uh, with the outside heat how will the product mm -hmm. yeah. okay okay so uh, the heat resistivity of our product is around like 70 degrees uh and outdoors me if you are using it so we have been using it uh, like more than two and a half or three years so it doesn't fade away as i already told you so the color hota hai since uh, the material that we are using uh, like uh, if i have to go into deep down in the uh, plastic types and all those stuff so type 2 plastic is mostly uv resistant so we are making use of that particular plastic type for outdoor product in those ke liye we also make use of different type types of plastic but for outdoors ke liye jo bhi benches wagaira hote hain hamare that we are making use of plus uh, uh, type 2 plastic so that has uv resistivity so se colors wagaira fade nahi hote and also there is no nothing like melting or something like that uh, it is like uh, normally jitna agar aap ek iron ka uh, bench rakhoge wo jitna garam hoga utna hi wo bhi garam hoga just to uh, you know sitting ke liye jo aapko wo heat thodi feel hogi uske liye but um, प्लास्टिक तो देर इज दिस अजम्पन की वो मेल्ट हो जाएगा या बाहर में रखेंगे धूप में तो वो ऐसा हो जाएगा बट इट इज नॉट लाइक क्योंकि उसमें थिकनेस बहुत ज्यादा होती है दीज बोर्ड आर लाइक जो हम बेंचेज में यूज कर रहे हैं दैट इज अराउंड फोर्टीन एम एम और सिक्सटीन एम एम तो दैट इज वेरी थिक तो यू कांट यू नो इट विल नॉट मेल्ट डाउन ओके uh next question from ratish does recycle uh, can recycle plastic be used for roof work uh roof works as in uh, like uh, i understand jo hamara pvc ka aur is tarike se jo kaam hote hai for that roofing ke liye probably ki agar acha okay theek hai i am not aware of this particular term because hmm. i am not uh, from this correct, term correct, but yes this can be this yeah. can be this can be used for wall tiling or roofing or you know even for the um, uh, jo hamare uh, ye hote hain kya bolte hain for tiling jo normal tiling hote hai floor tiling so for that as well but uh, floor tiling ke liye abhi tak we haven't used because isme thoda sa na wo zyada hota hai like uh, friction nahi hota hai so we haven't used abhi tak floor uh, uh, tiling ke liye but wall tiling we have uh, used 
वी हैव डन प्रोजेक्ट वेयर इसको हमने जहां पे हमने इसको वॉल टाइलिंग वर्क के लिए यूज किया था सो वी कैन यूज फॉर रूपिंग आल्सो ओके विल हैव इफ आई हैव टू ऐड ऑन टू दैट वी विल हैव टू चेक कि हमें उसके लिए थिकनेस क्या यूज करनी आई मीन द लोएस्ट थिकनेस दैट वी हैव इज 6 एमएम आई डोंट नो उससे और कम में जाना होगा या कैसे uh, या ज्यादा थिकनेस लगेगी डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द अंडरस्टैंडिंग कि उसकी क्या मटेरियल लाइक क्या थिकनेस इज रिक्वायर्ड वी कैन गो फॉर दैट Okay. Uh, next question, one more from Albert. Uh, do you have any knowledge of compressive strength of the boards that you guys have? Okay. Uh, so uh, I I do not have a number here, but uh, yeah, if okay. we compared with the MDF or ply board, so the compressive strength of this particular material is more than that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can get in touch with uh, like my team. They can give you these numbers and all those stuff. Um, Yeah, probably so, the yeah. technical details. Uh, you yeah, guys can yeah, yeah. Uh, get in touch with her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, next question is: uh, do, Does your product come under thermosetting plastics? Uh, thermosetting plastic. So I'm I'm particularly not aware of this particular term. So I guess no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. One question from Yashwan. Most my. प्लास्टिक पोल्यूशन कम्स फ्रॉम सो पोल्यू प्लास्टिक पोल्यूशन जो होता है मेजरली किस किस प्लास्टिक से होता है ओके सो माइक्रो प्लास्टिक पोल्यूशन व्हेन यू आर टॉकिंग सो दिस इज अबाउट द टाइनी यू नो मॉड्यूल या टाइप ऑफ प्लास्टिक दैट यू नो कम फ्रॉम द प्लास्टिक आई मीन दैट इज जनरली द माइक्रो प्लास्टिक पोल्यूशन सो इफ आई हैव टू टेक इनटू कंसीडरेशन आर प्रोसेस so when we you know do the cutting and all those stuff na to bahut sara microplastic generate hota hai definitely hota hai but what we do is we are doing a cutting in house and what we do we collect all those jo bhi jis tarike se aap lakdi pe jab kaam karte ho to wo jo generate hota hai na lakdi wala waste wo kya karte hai usko ikattha karke burning ke liye bech dete hai but what we do is we collect our microplastic ka jo bhi cheez hai and we make use of while making board so since this uh, is reusable So we uh, try to keep the in-house process a uh, zero waste kind of a thing. And if I have to tell in general, so microplastic pollution basically, um, जब आप recycled plastic के जो clothes वगैरह होते हैं ना, that uh, comes from the pet uh, plastic basically, these t-shirts and shoes and all the stuff. These definitely create microplastic pollution and these go uh, into the water and it then into the uh, you know aqua animals. So that is how it gets generated and. Uh, Uh, so we can uh, try you know reduce um, as much as uh, possible the plastic consumption in terms of microplastic right uh, darshan has one interesting question that what kind of adhesive do you use uh, while making your products is that also eco friendly uh, so uh, as i already told you we are not using any adhesive to uh, you know while processing of the eco boards and also while making a product so if i can just turn on the camera Let me do. Yeah, sure. Yeah, hi everybody. So I was having a very bad network, so I kept it off. So if I have to, you know, just showcase this particular plant or pot, you say we have. So what we have done is we have used nails here. And similarly for bigger products, we use screws. So we don't use any adhesive nails because then the recyclability factor gets uh, low. So we try to get this product to be recycled. So we try to get this product to be recycled. So we try to get this product to be recycled. So we try to get this product to be recycled. So we try to get this product to be recycled. तो ये फिर नेल्स आप निकाल सकते हो एंड देन दिस इज कंप्लीट प्लास्टिक ओनली बट एडेसिव यूज होगा तो उसमें वो एडेसिव जो होगा दैट इज आल्सो सम काइंड ऑफ प्लास्टिक तो देन इट गेट्स इनकॉर्पोरेटेड विद द प्रोडक्ट एंड देन द रीसाइक्लेबिलिटी फैक्टर यू नो गेट्स इंफ्यूज्ड ओके नाउ रतीश हैज अ क्वेश्चन सो ही ही इज आस्क्ड लाइक हाउ हाउ मच किलोग्राम ऑफ प्लास्टिक नीडेड फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर quantity what i would want to generalize it as how do you decide on the amount of amount of plastic needed for a particular product that goes like ki what kind of plastic we are using what is the density of that particular plastic and what size we are making so depending upon the thickness and also the maximum size so we are making 4 cross 4 feet ka board right agar 4 right. cross 4 feet ke board pe agar 10 agar main on an average lo 10 to 12 uh, jo mm ka board hota hai that is mostly used uh, in matlab wo hi thickness zyada use zyada use hoti hai so that is taking around uh, 12 to 13 kg plastic for 4 cross 4 feet board so uh, that is like that we have decided based on the thickness like this much plastic will be going into the, that particular uh, sheet or board that we are making 
I can see he has asked very specific about thirty cross thirty five for five hundred. Yes. Uh, I can definitely tell that you can drop me this uh, particular. I mean thing. I'll I'll ask uh, someone from my team to connect them. You know, uh, let him know about it. Yes. Yes. Uh, I think yeah. So Omnat wants to know a little more about your manufacturing uh, process. Can you? Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Uh, so the, there are four steps. collect shred compress create that is very simple uh, uh, process but back in mein jaise ki aap janna cha rahe hain more about the manufacturing uh, you know process so collection mein bhi there are there are different steps that are involved so we are doing in uh, i mean household collection within delhi and cr we are also taking from corporate jo unka waste hota hai that and we are also incorporating with that because so that is how we are sourcing the raw material uh, say waste plastic and then um, as i told hamara segregation hota hai in house and then we convert it uh, i mean jo uh, plastic types hote hain we segregate based on the plastic types and then convert it into clay the most then we make the board that is uh, the process main process that we are uh, doing humne uske liye jo process uh, prepare kiya hai so the um, hello yes sonal we can hear you okay okay so uh, i mean uh, my team has built this machine and we are making use of that to make these boards and then after the board the as i told the processing is very simple similarly to wooden panel so you can make use of all types of uh, screws and nailing and cnc cutting and all those stuff okay i think we have exhausted all the questions uh one thing again uh, sonal you mm -hmm. that, uh, if we have any like on a personal level if we have a lot of plastic waste at our home we can reach mm -hmm. out to you and you know uh, get something done of it can you explain that part again like if people want to reach out to you with some plastic waste how does that go yeah sure 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 so if you are within delhi and cr so we you can connect uh, us through whatsapp so this is uh, you can see the number on the screen you can just ping us ki uh, i am very interested you know in following this particular type of thing ki hum apna so segregation kare and all those stuff so i'll take you through the process ki aapko kya karna hai basically kuch nahi karna hai just uh, uh, clean it properly jo bhi aap cheez use kar rahe ho even the milk packets or jo bhi aap uh, you know koi bhi um, shampoo containers or whatever you are trying to i mean whatever we use on day to day basis just try to keep it clean and um, uh, clean for the hygienic purpose for you also because you are going to store that amount of plastic for you know uh, at least for 20 25 days because that's how our collection cycle works so um, once you have a sufficient amount of plastic uh even if you not have but we encourage to go for source segregation so we we can take it from you even if you have 1 kg also so uh not very not the much emphasis on the quantity part but you can collect and let us know and we will uh, schedule a visit to your place and we'll uh, pick it up from there okay is this currently limited only to delhi ncr or currently it is for delhi ncr but people have sent plastic from you know raipur also even from hyderabad so people who who know that who know that ki uh, we are making use of this in for a you know very uh, i mean good use so they collect and they uh, ship it to us and we make use of that in our process but we do not uh, encourage that because then shipping and all in, uh, incur some kind of foreign footprint so hum usme process utna zyada nahi we do not encourage definitely if you are doing some kind of uh, eco conscious activity so we are uh, definitely so we can help you out with that um okay. collection part is focused for delhi and cr but agar aap uh, if you want we can give our address and you can send plastic to us yeah uh, darshan very much on the screen you have her contact details her email id and also of aki hai you can reach reach us also for more such interesting products uh yeah i can think we can wait for two more minutes any other questions guys Yes, yes, one chicken. Yes, sure. Can mute. Okay. Uh, hi. Thank you for the informative session. Um, so I actually wanted to ask that what is the initial cost of this whole setup? You know, like um, sourcing plastic from different areas and then segregating it. The tools and machineries. Uh, the cost of uh, th that setup to compress this and then to convert that into boards and then into these artifacts and usable items. so that, that's what i have wanted to ask that what is the initial cost of this whole uh, ecosystem okay 
So I I got your question. I think uh, we can connect to us. I mean, post uh, this you know uh, session, uh, then we can definitely discuss about it. This, but that will depend upon what uh, what uh, type of scale you are trying to you know uh, build. Uh, which which scale me? You want to start? Karna chahate hai. That will depend on that. Uh, but definitely we can help you out. You can connect with me. Uh, post the session and we can uh, discuss it. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Anshika. Anyone else? Any other questions, guys? Okay, we have one question. Uh, when you do the collection, you are only using HDP and PP type product manufacturing. So, what other plastic which is collected? uh so we are not just using hd and pp we are also using ld and some other plastic types as well and the plastic that is of no use for us what we do is basically abhi ke liye we are trying to keep it uh, side because we have some plans for you know uh, uh, some plans to use it uh, in different ways so not just uh, the process that you know infuse plastic and uh, melt and make both parts That we have things in type that are used for those types of products. So, okay, let's keep it aside for some research kind of purposes. But we are using at least around uh, like uh, three to four types of plastic, not just the PMP. Okay, one more question from Ratish. Uh, do these boards release carbon monoxide or any kind of gases to be specific while compressing and heating? i think this is similar to the carbon footprint wala question so uh, since we are not going into the melting part or you know burning part so there are no fumes involved in that process because we are going into uh, only till the semi molten state so uh, no okay thank you ratish for your question okay i think we are done with all the questions yeah i think so yes probably if any more questions you guys have okay one more question from ratish how will we bring to molten state without heating without heating we are we are heating but we are not uh, it is not you know melting so the fumes involved on like something you were uh, taking it in that state and compressing is different than melting and then compressing so that is how we are doing it definitely heat is involved because this plastic so we you have to give some heat to make it uh, it to you know that uh, particular state jahan se hum usko board mein bana paye but we are not going into that us uh, utni zyada heating nahi de rahe hain ki that is uh, that is creating some kind of uh, okay one question uh, from yashwan pvc sheets eco friendly or not uh, yes yeah, so uh, as far as i know uh, I mean, I can't say just yes or no. Depending on that, its replacement. What is it? Then you can think if it is eco-friendly as compared to the other, uh, you know, um, comparable materials. But since PVC has a very uh, difficult recycling process, so in that sense, it is not a uh, you know very good material to make use of in large uh, extent. But it is being used very extensively. okay sonal thank you so much because uh, we have all architects and designers here and since you are an engineer you have really done a pretty good job of actually answering some yeah even this was very interesting for me i'm so glad i'm so glad to have you thank you guys reach out to her for any more specific questions it was a great session for me and for you all i'm sure and we will come up with more such interesting sessions for you thank you guys